I was able to open my eyes, I found myself hanging. When I heard the knocking again, I knew it was close. Hey spooky siblings, welcome to Left on Red Scary Monday. And today's cryptid creepypasta is written by Ryan Dietrich. My name is Jason. I'm writing this because I don't know how long I have left. The doctors let me take some time to write down some notes about the events that took place a couple years back. As you can tell, I'm in a mental health facility, but I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think I am. I swear, all the events I will talk about are real. It all started when I was at my friend's house. For anonymity, I'm going to call him Jim. Jim had invited me over to his house to hang out and play video games. Jim's parents went out drinking with their friends, so we had the whole house to ourselves. It was around 1 a.m. when Jim heard that his parents were staying at a friend's house, so we both decided I will spend the night. Jim then told me about what was happening on his front door, about the knocking. I didn't believe him since we were playing a horror game, so I chalked it off to his terrified mind playing tricks. But then we both heard a knock at the door. Did it sound like this? Or like this? Ooh, maybe it sounded like this. Yeah, that was definitely it. Shh, Bolty. You'll freak out our humans again. Back to the story. The knocking eventually stopped, and we somehow managed to fall asleep. But when I woke up, I had three scratches on my arm. It looked as if a cat scratched my arm while I slept. I still have the three scratches on my arm to this day. Later that afternoon, I wanted to take a walk in the woods. I have a little camp in my woods that I used to do target practice. I was pretty deep in the woods. I only had my flashlight and my pistol. It was getting dark, but I didn't want to go back because I wanted to shoot more. I wish I would have gone back. As I was walking down, I came across a cave. I decided to go camp in there till the morning. It wasn't a big cave. It wasn't deep either. It was just big enough for me to go in the cave comfortably. I fell asleep because I was tired. When I woke up the next day, I wasn't in the cave and my pistol was gone. I tried looking for it and eventually found it, but it had no bullets in it. This is when I knew I had to head back home, but I ended up getting lost. I tried texting my parents, but my phone was dead. When I was trying to get back home, I kept feeling like I was being watched. I kept looking back every once in a while to make sure I wasn't being followed. It started to get dark when I heard a knocking on a tree. It wasn't a woodpecker because it sounded like a human knocking on a door. Oh, okay. I think I got it. So this one sounded like this. Or maybe like this? <laughs> Definitely the second one, Pulte. Back to the story. 
I tried avoiding the knocking, but the noise kept following me whenever I moved farther away from it. It started to get dark again and I was scared. I kept cursing at myself for bringing only one clip of ammunition. The knocking stopped, but the feeling of being watched didn't. I looked back and this time I saw it. The beast. It was looking at me with his sunken eyes. It was tall, about eight feet tall. It was gray with long legs that slithered on the ground as it walked. The legs seemed like they were half the size of its body. Its nails were long and sharp as if it had knives for fingernails and toenails. They were covered in a gooey liquid, perhaps blood. Its jaw was nowhere to be seen, just razor sharp teeth going down its neck. I wanted to run, but my fear overpowered me. I was frozen in place. I saw that thing walking towards me as it reached out its hands. It is then I realized that it wasn't knocking. That was just the noise it made while walking towards its prey. When it got up to me, it didn't attack me. It did take me somewhere though. I think it was its nest. It smelled of decay. I was able to open my eyes. I found myself hanging. When I heard the knocking again, I knew it was close. I saw it in the corner of my eyes. It was hunched over. I think it was eating. The creature, the knocker, then slithered right next to me. It cut me down. When it did this, I ran. I ran for my life. I saw an opening that shined light in the hellhole I was in. I heard the creature sprinting towards me, but I made it out of the cave alive and couldn't believe my eyes. I was in the same cave I slept in. I was close to the firing range. I quickly ran to it and tried to see if I had any bullets there. I managed to find two clips for my pistol, I loaded up my gun and headed back home. It was then I heard sirens. The police were in the woods looking for me. I dropped my gun and went to the police to tell them about the cave. They didn't believe me, but I convinced one of the officers to follow me to the cave. I told them that there was something unusual. As we got to the cave entrance, I heard the knocking. The officer who I was with didn't seem to hear it. When we got to the cave, there was nothing there. No blood, nothing. Needless to say, no one believed me. I still hear the knocking from time to time but I have grown used to it. I started to hear the nails scraping on my room door too. The other patients seemed to hear it too. My name is Jason. I'm 25 now and I still hear the knocking. The knocker doesn't seem to care where I am. And that was Scary Monday. My name is Red and this is Left on red. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell notification button so that you get notified every time Polti and I upload a new video. Until next time.